2020 was the most awful, the most devastating, the most tragic, and the worst year for the past 16 years of my life living here on planet Earth. Why? You see, because of the lockdown, the pandemic, coronavirus, sadly, people dying, it was really tough for most of us. Like, I'm talking, we don't have the exact amount of money we make a month anymore. Maybe they have uh, reduced or uh, removed a certain percentage. But for content creators and the tech company, it wasn't. For instance, Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy Donaldson, gained an additional 24 million subscribers from last year's January to this month's September. Or MKPHD gained an additional 4 million plus subscribers from last year January to this September. And the king of tech in the UK, Mr. Who's the Boss, or as we may all know him as Aramani, gained over 3 million subscribers from last year January to this year's September. But companies like, you know, Nvidia, the, G, the GPU company, you know, they made the 3080, 3080 Ti, the 3090, 3070 Ti, and many content creators loved it. Apple didn't stay there. Qualcomm didn't stay there because Qualcomm released their 888 chip and Apple released their M1 chip. Of course, many people love the M1 chip. It was, of course, very, very better, faster, and more efficient than the Intel chips on their previous MacBook series. But this year is coming up with a whole different processor. Like, we're going to have in the M1X, which is said to be at least 5% to 10%, if not 15%, faster than the M1 chip. And for those of you that don't know how fast the M1 chip is, the M1 chip is very fast, like many content creators love it. Like even when you export a 10-bit 4K video on an M1 MacBook Pro, it can take you maybe 13-14 minutes, which 10 bits color is good as like 10 billion colors. That is what the M1 chip is processing. And the architecture of the M1 chip, as you can see, it is sleek and it's good. The architecture on the M1X, I'm not sure it's finding out, but if it is, I will show it right here. And comparing it side by side with each other, I'm sure there might be a difference. Like there should be a difference. So the M1 MacBook lineup for the last year, 2020, came up with a Retina display, which of course was very good. You know, color creates a good GPU, CPU, good keyboard, and every other thing. But the M1X is going to wear this. The new tech world is going to that is Mini LED. Now, for those of you that don't know what Mini LED is, Mini LED Asus adopted. Um, um, Apple did the iPad Pro M1 for 2021 with the Mini LED with about 1000 Mini LED lights. And what is Mini LED lights? Mini LED lights are LED lights, Mini LED lights that are an additional um, lights to the backlight of your screen. It makes the color come out or pop out as high as it can possibly be. As it can possibly be. It increases the color gamut. Like we can get a 100% sRGB can get 98 plus percent Adobe RGB and PCI 3 and for those of you that don't know this this is the way the tech world or colors are being um, graded like that's how they scale it so what are going to be the difference or changes I really like a better camera from the M1X MacBook like that of the iPad iMac Pro 2021 the camera was very good 1080p yeah it was decent enough and um, I really like that kind of pixel, if not more, to be put into the M1X MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, whichever one that they want to put it on. The battery should be better, at least 12 hours of heavy tax usage. I'm talking streaming on YouTube, Netflix, browsing the internet, doing some video editing and getting your work done. And at least 10% more battery life to be spared. Charging this should be very, very fast. I really love maybe 100 or 85 watts fast charge with maybe 95 or 85 watt hour battery which is going to be a lot of change not you know apple don't really change the design they always come with this um maybe silver maybe this year they might come with multi colors but what is really interesting about this year's macbook lineup is the m1x chip because of you know people are going to be craving to buy it people that are using the m1 i'm not trying to say you can dump yours until the m1x is officially out until i kind of see the M1X um, MacBook, maybe in Apple's store here in my country, I will let you guys know. And I also like you guys to keep in touch with other bigger YouTubers where they, when Apple gives it to them, you know, they will have it all in their hand. So they will do it hands on and be for review about the M1X MacBook lineup. So 
subscribe to this channel if you like tech unboxings, if you like tech talks, if you like tech in general. Give this video a thumbs up and um, I'm Mr. Bukwazo and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for dropping by. Peace. Maybe. Can anybody out there?